So our official name is the Rice Capo Team. And what we're tasked with doing is we're making a capo that doesn't interfere with hand motion at all. I've been around the OEDK for a long time and I've known about it, um, but totally separately, a friend, Matt Carroll and I were talking and we play a lot of guitar and we play a lot of acoustic guitar and we were just talking about capos and how they had this problem when we play, when we, like right here I'm capoed on the seventh fret. And when you cape up really high, it particularly gets in the way of making some chord forms. And we were talking about how we could fix that. And he actually sketched out some thoughts about what we could do about that. And I don't know why, maybe I was getting a, a email from somebody at OEDK or whatever, and suddenly I went, wait a minute. How we can find some great labor so that'll work on this project like 24 seven all the time and come up with some great ideas and do a lot more stuff than we have time to do to try to make it work. At first it was incredibly intimidating because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm a freshman working for this guy. He's on the board of trustees. He's so, so, so important. He's a rice grad. <laughs> I was just very intimidated, but it's been a great experience for me. I want to say this is officially the fourth or fifth prototype. Uh, so basically what we did is instead of having this, uh, this little curved metal bar, we have a curved plastic bar uh, that actually interlocks with this upper handle right here uh, through this little thing we cut. Uh, additionally, we cut a little hole in the back so that this back piece can go through. Um, and this back piece is a little, it's still recessed, uh, so you, can, you have plenty of room to move your hand around it. And that's, that's super critical. Um, it's also nice that it's, that it's nice and thin. Uh, yeah, it being thin really is conducive to having your palm go around it easily and doesn't jab your hand or anything. So basically what this is, this is an industry standard Kaiser Capo, Kaiser Quick Change. Uh, as you can see, my thumb is really bumping into uh, this little up, upper uh, handle, and it's making it really hard to grab this, uh, this six string right here. Uh, additionally, when I try to wrap my uh, first finger around to grab this C, to grab this note right here, uh, this, uh, this bar really cuts into my hand. Uh, so that's, those are two points of contact that we managed to, uh, to alleviate with our new capo. So this is an F major 7 chord. Uh, it's not really possible to do this on a Kaiser or a G7, one of the more popular uh, capos in store today, but you can see I've got plenty of room to move my thumb around here, uh, and there's no palm interference in the back, so I can just, I can move my hand wherever. Uh, and there's no, there's no finger interference right here, which is a, a big problem on some chords. I actually have no experience playing the guitar. Um, I play the piano, so I do have music experience, but um, I think this product just really interested me because it addresses a problem that's been around for quite a long time, but people for some reason haven't come up with a solution. I think this whole design course that they're doing, the freshman design course, is an amazing thing. I wish I had it when I was here. Um, but to me, it's just like an amazing exercise. And for us, it's a lot of fun as the sponsors to get to watch them.